Hello everyone and welcome back to the Refuge of the Painful Tide in Mind Over Magic. Now in the first episode we set up our little refuge over here and uh, at the end of the episode we were just about to uh, sort out a repel fog ritual. Now this is going to be a really good place for us to start this episode because as you may remember, we had a little problem with gut berries, and we weren't sure if we were going to have enough gut berries. So that's a good segue into some of the deeper parts of this game. We're going to be checking out schedules, priorities, consume, and groups. Groups in particular is going to be very, very uh, important for us. And right now you start off with three basic ones, but this is, by and, and large, the biggest improvement to the overall management UI and capabilities in this colony management game for all intents and purposes. I mean, it, it ticks all of the boxes. We've got our regular schedule. We've got our priority list of, of tasks. We've got consumable lists, what they're allowed to eat and, and drink and so on and so forth. But groups, this really sets this game apart from a lot of other games. And I hope that this kind of mechanic will be introduced to other games somewhere down the line. Right now, we start out with three uh, set and static groups. That is, has anyone got staff? They're in the all staff group. Has anyone a student? They're in the all students group and quilted. Well, we'll get to those eventually. But there was one thing in particular we wanted to play with, and I think groups is going to give us an amazing opportunity for this. And if we have a look at uh, the, the current setup of things, we were running out of gut berries. Now, part of the reason for that is we've now got two vivified uh, people in the school, one student, one teacher. And Vivified will eat the least good thing possible, because they don't care. And as very good individuals who are like, well, it doesn't matter to me whether you're feeding me strawberries or gut berries. I'll just eat the gut berries since no one else likes those, so we may as well just get a use out of them. That way I'm not taking up strawberries that someone else might actually get a benefit from eating. Such team players. However, I really don't want them eating any of the uh, of the gut berries because I need them for for uh, repelling the fog. Uh, that being said, we currently are turning them to gut berry soup. I'm kind of hopeful that they'll eat the carcass stew, but you know what, gut berry soup is okay. Uh, once these are fully up and running, we'll we'll be drowning in gut berries, so it's not really that big of a problem. But it does offer us an opportunity to check something out. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, vivified. This is simply going to be a faction. Is vivified there we go boom we now have a group that we can use in everything else which dictates who they uh that which can be targeted at any individual in this group and it will automatically update as a new vivified enters or leaves this will update we can also create a group that is anyone but vivified for example so in the consume group now we can add in a new task we can go for vivified and in this one i'm going to say uh, right now, I don't want them to eat gut berries, or I could say even uh, gut berry soup, so that they would generally just go straight for the carcass stew, but the main thing is I just don't want them to eat gut berries. Now, I'm not sure how this will interact with the other groups. Will this, uh, will this affect uh, trickle down? Does it go for the, the, the most restrictive or the least restrictive? This is something I'm very eager to for science, and so we're going to be doing that in this episode. If it allows the least restrictive version, then because they're parts of staff and parts of students, they'll be allowed to eat gut berries, and we'll be able to watch them do that. If, however, it uses the most restrictive version of all of their rules, then because they are vivified, they will be expressly forbidden. Now, I'm pretty certain that they will go for the gut berries as a priority food we don't want that to happen so hopefully the moment uh, they wake up because i'm not going to disturb their sleep until they actually get up on their own we're going to start the repel fog ritual just to make sure that we can do it rather than uh, than use this as a, a way to test and then completely doom the run that would be an awful time to for science anything really looks like they're all about to wake up though we can speed it up a little bit more you're gonna wake up over there come on sleep heads uh, you know what i'm tired of waiting so go ahead Go ahead and do that. Now, one of the things to have noticed there is they had uh, a repel strength of 10. This is, I believe, dictated by... Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you eating? You have grabbed... You are going for the gut berry soup. Okay. Okay, now, again, I'm not too worried about having the gut berries around. This is just something to show. But this is telling me that they will always go 
for the most restrictive rule that applies to them. And that is fantastic. It's going to give us so much control over what's going on. But uh, when setting up the ritual, you may have noticed, I was a little bit fast in clicking off it, that uh, they have a 10 repel strength. I believe that is dictated by their one strength and... Uh, oh, you're scheduled for eating. Are you going to go and eat this? Scheduled for eating. Carrying gut berry. You better be carrying it to... Putting it in storage. Okay. You are forgiven. Put that away. Oh, it's because you're scheduled for eating. You would be allowed to eat right now, um, but you uh, but you don't need it, so you're not doing it. Okay, that, that's actually another good thing to note. They're not going to eat if they're over full. Yeah, you're you're full right now, so you're getting a uh, well. Actually, you're not you're not getting any kind of bonus. That may be something as a consequence of vivified as well. Maybe they just don't care. Uh, either way, we're going to get this all sorted. I'm not too worried about having gutberry soup around because we've now got three planters. We should start seeing a lot of uh, gut berries being available for them. So we'll always have carcass stew as well, so uh, if that should uh, run out, then we should be okay. Now, the other thing that we need to focus on in this episode is right now, we currently have a problem with research. We are more or less gated, or anything that we really want to get at the very least, by our lack of, uh, of adept scrolls, or our, actually arcane scrolls in many cases. Are there any uh, limits on adept scrolls? Oh uh, yeah, actually there's a few limits, but it's arcane scrolls that's the problem. Nevertheless, it's the same uh, fix for both of these. We need more students. I know, go figure, a school that needs students. But for now, we can at least rich, uh, research down to ritual accessories, and we will get basic rituals, which is how we're going to graduate students and earn those arcane, uh, those uh, adept scrolls. Now, we're going to need a place for these students to sleep. Uh, also, I kind of would like to have some more storage. Can we do that? Let's have a gander. We've managed to push it back very, very uh, slight distance. Ooh, this dark crystal is quite nice. It can chance to mine a calming small rug, an occult small ring, a uh, occult small rug, or a visionary small... What? A mysterious crystal of condensed fog. Mind to... Okay, so you can just get furniture out of crystals? My lord. Uh, this one can get smoke pearl, honey gruel, honey gruel, dark wand, earth. Wow, okay. We can get wands out of this. That's fantastic. It's got five resources remaining, so go ahead and grab those if you can. Have we got any more? Uh, it would actually be easier for us to check over here, I suppose. We ha did have uh, another dull crystal as well. Okay, go ahead and mine that. We've got a foggy crystal, only one of those. Nothing else really standing out for us right now. So that shouldn't be too bad. Right, a skill was learned as well. Aquatami has learned the nature skill, which is actually quite nice. Now, you can further improve the, the learning rate of your students. We'll get into that once we've got more students to bring along, though. We have a lightning wand there. Who's the best teachers that we have? You're uh, not great at lightning. You don't have really any particular lightning bonuses. Your bonuses are all in fire, nature, and earth. So if we want to have a look for someone who would be particularly good at teaching lightning, for example, and we, we well, I mean, we've got Jitterbug. Jitterbug would be able to help Aquatami learn their primary magic skill a lot faster, but they're also dark and air. Uh, we could focus on that, or else are you good at... You are actually okay with air, so we could perhaps bring in an, an air wand. Uh, sure, I wouldn't be against that. Let's add... An air wand to the mix. Let's uh, do until we have. Uh, you know what? Sure, do until we have one. And do until we have one lightning wand as well. That way, if we do mine one, they'll stop mining them. Oh, they did have the smoke weeds. Let's uh, harvest those while we have the chance. I should have actually been checking that. It's going to be so easy for me to get uh, distracted here. I do apologize. Uh, how are we doing for our basic building material? We're doing awfully for, for wood. But we've got some trees around here. So let's go ahead and chop these trees. Uh, I would also like to get the gut berry vines. In fact, I'd like to get all gut berry vines if we can. Uh, there are only three, sadly. Uh, we are also going to grab the phoenix kiss. There we go. And additionally, I would like to grab any uh, ice flowers as well. Let's go ahead and grab all of those. There we go. That should help. The student needs a teacher. And we have researched basic rituals. Rain is incoming, though, which is a little bit of a problem. Hopefully we can get the uh, the storage chest ready. We've only got a tiny one right now. We now need the wood, which is a high priority. So let's 
pop that up in priority. Let's make sure that we're getting those as quickly as we can so we can get these chests in and hopefully protect all of the uh, harvest resources out there. What are you eating? You are eating... Uh, carrying carcass steel. Okay, this is perfect. They are doing what they're meant to do. That is going to keep the gut berries for us for, for our rituals. Okay, marvellous. Right, what I'm going to do... Once we've got a chest, I will put one down here that'll contain the resources for the rituals so that make things a little bit easier. Uh, we can now build the ritual sigil. Uh, however, we're going to need a bedroom, I think, more than anything else. And since I can, I could bring the bedroom just down here a little bit. Maybe have the, the beds at the front. It's going to look a little bit wonky, but I think that would be fine in an establishment like this. You kind of want a bit of wonk. Uh, what am I covering? Oh, it's, uh, I don't have the wood. Also, this is probably not the best side to do that on, but this side already has uh, bedrooms. Uh, sorry, uh, an overhanging bedroom there. That's a bit of a problem. Maybe I could put a little bedroom right up here past the... past the... Uh, the... Uh, classroom there instead because I don't want to cover these I don't know uh, well I'm assuming that the shadow would affect their growth rate which is obviously not something I really want to do uh, nevertheless let's go ahead and pop down a bit of furniture or rather storage where we can we can fit another one up here so let's go ahead and do that and can I do that on each side can we get uh, almost we almost got all of them in there I think at this point it is the uh, the smoke sticks that we're lacking. So I'm just going to speed things up, let them go ahead and grab bits and bobs. You're going to continue learning for the time being. But I'm thinking that since we've only got a single individual here, uh, we might want to go ahead and, and try and make sure that it's one of the best people to train them. Oh, that being said, Jitterbug. Hmm. Jitterbug is our primary researcher. We don't I'll take them off that job. Do I have another teacher who's reasonably good at air and lightning? Uh, it's not encrypt, and it's definitely not mana. Well, okay, that's not ideal. Uh, what kind of skills do we have here, then? Uh, I could go for a water wand, a dark wand, or an earth, um, or nature, perhaps. We've got a couple of options. Uh, let's go ahead and add in an extra wand, then. We'll go with an uh, a nature wand. I would like to try and get wands that I don't already have. In fact, for that reason, I'm going to take off the lightning wand for now. Uh, we could then also add in the water wand and the dark wand. And we'll just allow these to be made once they're able to. Now, these do take up a fair bit of resources, so we're going to need to get to that as quickly as we can. Though, at this point, we no longer have any more uh, research to be done there. Uh, you'll notice that our wolfkin there has just grabbed a dire rat. Uh, it's because wolfkins... If the only other options are things that are that would hurt their their conviction, they'll just eat live prey, which is fair. It doesn't seem to affect their their uh, conviction in any way to do so. So I'm actually quite happy with that. And we do have a uh, couple of little bits. They they are going to be shrunk. So we've got a visionary small rug. This adds a little bit of luxury and a calming rug that adds a little bit of luxury as well. We'll get to those in a little bit. But right now, it is largely trying to bring in the resources that we're going to need either to push the fog back a lot, and that's going to require a bunch more wood. We've got a nice 20 gut berries available to us for, for that purpose, which would actually be quite useful. Let's go ahead and set this up down here. Also, I'm going to try and have the speed kind of middle of the road, but I'm still very much learning, so going a little bit slower means that there's going to be less chance that I'm going to make some uh, critical error and suddenly waste a lot of our time uh, with the uh, the whole run ending on like episode 3 or something like that. But uh, for the time being, everyone's just got their jobs to do and the rain is over thankfully, so uh, no more wasted stuff. We've got a decent amount of these chests built up. Can I fit another one in? No, it is going to be the, uh, the smoke stick that we're waiting on. Alright, well, as soon as I've got a wand ready, then the next... Ooh, there we are, actually. We've got an air wand right there. Let's go ahead and get a student summoned. Let's get our second student, the air wand, the only one that we've got. If we're very lucky, we might get a good spread of, uh, of uh, secondary magics, which would mean that 
someone would... Uh, well, okay, uh, hello. That's a little bit weird that you're invisible there, but okay. Uh, that uh, a, a certain teacher would be a particularly good fit for teaching them, and then we'll set up a group to allow for that. I'm going to have Heather doing this because there's no actual benefit to anyone who does this ritual. There doesn't seem to be any bond between the teacher and student. And so having Heather do it because they're kind of the the dual uh, character. They, they do nothing particularly well, but they can do most things. Uh, so they're, they're the perfect one to put into these kind of uh, uh, lower skill requirement jobs uh, rather than taking our researcher away from their job. Uh, how's everything else going? Uh, we're going okay. We're still grabbing the smoke sticks at the moment. All right, we've got Birdie. Well, that first and foremost isn't your real name. Everyone, please say hello to Plumber Smack, the Wolfkin. Welcome, welcome. Let's have a look at your skills. You are two in earth and two in nature, as well as air. That isn't a terrible choice. Two earth, two nature. Okay, I would say Manu is definitely the right person to be teaching Plumber Smack. Uh, the only thing that they're not good at is their primary skill. Now, the problem with that is it does take a lot more time as each level increases for them to be able to uh, to uh, gain that level. So having someone who isn't the best person for teaching their primary skill is probably one of the least efficient things you can do, but you know, that's the way it's going to be for now. Uh, the fog has come in, but let's have a quick look at Plumber Smack's uh, trials and medals. So, Spirit, they've got defeated one skull or higher enemy party without an ally going unconscious. This will give plus 10 speed on a character that already has a lot of speed. That's awesome. Uh, full learning, uh, cast while full at the learning zone 25 times. And this will give you plus 10 power. Again, a really, really good synergy because Wolfkin are quite powerful naturally. And this one will give a bit of extra HP, max mana, and speed. So this is a really decent combination. I would have liked one that upped their learning cap on one of their skills, but this is a pretty good all-rounder. And right now, we're mostly looking for students in order to uh, graduate them. That being said, we can't graduate anyone yet without a place to do the graduating. And the graduating may have to be just kind of... Uh, uh, Spotted in up here, so we're gonna need some viscera and some iron. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to grab one of the iron nodes. And is there one closer to the uh, building? Not particularly, but we'll uh, go ahead and grab a few at the very least. All right, going to have them grab some more gut berries and uh, just do little bits of odds and sods work around here whilst we wait to get the resources we're going to need to expand the school out some more. Okay, it is a brand new day and we are getting some rats killed and some trees chopped. Let's have a look at how the uh, pan is doing over here. Uh, we need a couple more carcasses for all of the stews, but uh, currently we have some students waiting for a staff. I'm actually going to say that Manu is the staff and only that staff can take care of this. I'm also going to say that Manu is going to prioritize teaching above their other jobs. So uh, there we go. Manu, you go ahead and do that. In fact, everyone is going to prioritize teaching above their regular jobs. That's that's the main job that you have in this school. Until I get uh, a teacher who's largely here to do other kinds of work. But right now, Manu is one of the best uh, teachers, certainly for Plumber Smack, so I'm going to uh, leave that as the case. And we can have a look at the, what's going on here right now. They're kind of teaching them in all of their skills. The students, from what I understand, will try to level their skills uh, kind of in tandem. They're not going to prioritize one skill over the other, but some skills they will learn faster, and then they'll switch to the the other skills based on the rooms, based on the teachers, based on uh, their own uh, affinity towards that magic and how high that level is. So uh, they will slowly get right at all of their skills and then their wand will usually be the last one that they level up. Now, with all of that viscera brought in, we should be able to go on a little trip. Now, do I want to cut out time for my students right now? Let's have a look at Plumber Smack. Where is your magic at right now? Um, we've got one in nature. You are making some good progress towards Earth at the moment. And uh, actually, Aquatami's doing pretty solidly right now. He's got uh, twos across the board. Once Plumber Smack has managed to get level two in air, we're going to unlock the underscore. And that is going to give us some uh, more things that we can play around with, which is going to be very, very important indeed. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to say that I'm going to need some things done as a priority. Uh, the students can help clean and haul 
And I would like Heather to focus on chopping, uh, harvesting, and, well, maybe tending? Yes, you can do tending as well. So, in this order, make sure you harvest what I've told you to harvest, then tend, then chop where you can, then you can maybe do a little bit of mining as well. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, considering Manu is quite good at these tasks, I might... Mm. No, I, I will go ahead and say that you will also do mining. You'll do mining last. Let's just make sure that your primary job is uh, getting things ready for the students to bring in when it's their time to, to get out there and, and do some work. Right, Manu is currently charging up their mana. Every time they cast a spell, I believe this is true uh, even whilst uh, learning, uh, they use up a little bit of mana in order to do that. If we have a look at their schedule right now, well, they've just come off a bit of a work schedule. I'm thinking we do want that there. But let's have a look at how people are coping with their various needs at the moment. Uh, we're doing okay. Sleep is good. Hunger is satisfied. That should be the case for most people. Uh, so I don't think we're going to need to add in any extra feeding time. They're not going to have to have food midday. And sleep seems to be pretty solid regardless. Uh, now, they are craving recreation, which is pulling down their, uh, their satisfaction a little bit. And we do have an option for helping with that. Down here, we've got the enchant uh, enchanter phone. We're going to need some wood for that one, though. So hopefully we can bring all of that in. Uh, but where are we going to place this setup? I do not know. We only need it to go down. We don't strictly need to make a room for it. But if we wanted to, then the room that we would want to make would be... The conservatory, to start with, we'd need it to be private, skewed, and two or more enchanter phones. Okay, so the private part is a little bit of a problem. Um, maybe adding that over here would be the right place. Or we could even have it off from the basic classroom and uh, build another area for the, uh, for the dormitories, another dormitory for some more students. Or we could even have it over here, perhaps. We'll have to have a look at that one in time but right now we've got peeps out and about gathering all the stuff up it, it is uh learning time though so i'm kind of surprised that you ah there we go it was uh, it was broken down so they waited for encrypt to come up and repair that i imagine encrypt is actually better at that let's have a quick gander yes encrypt has that at a at a higher uh, priority because it's an earth skill and they're actually fairly fairly handy with it. Haha, <laughs> handy at doing handyman repairs. How wonderful. But there we are. I'm just going to allow a little bit more time to pass. We are going to go down into the uh, underschool once the learning day is over and hopefully our students have managed to get a couple more skills. You're going to have level one in fire as well, which is all well and good, but I really want you to have level two in air. Which I suppose you're not going to get until you've gotten through all of these. Ah, I should have realized that. I only just talked about how the fact, how you'll uh, try to prioritize learning your skills equally. Damn it! Huh. Now this is interesting. This is saying it's getting all of the sunlight it needs. It's saying required light sun and it's getting 100% even though it's in shadow. Now it isn't directly underneath the overhang. But I'm wondering if that means we could build something out here and have our little garden still protected. That would be absolutely marvellous if that were the case. Alright, well, we're in the eating window. Looks like more or less everyone has had the food that they want to have. We're making a couple more dishes here and there. But it's time for us to unlock the underschool, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to send Manu, because I would like uh, level 3 on, uh, on fire with us. We're going to send Encrypt, because I like the tankiness of Earth. Uh, as for, well, it's, it has to be two students, unless I could send someone... No, it has to be two students. So let's send the students down as well, and let's see what, what we can do. We need five worm weed pods, five phoenix flowers, and five viscera. So you crack on. Uh, okay, a bit of ominous uh, chortling there. Uh, however, in terms of the superior fog repel, we just need wood and gut berries, and we have a lot of both. And I would very much like to get that up and running so that we can push this fog as far back as we can. But the fog is going to encroach very soon. Have we got enough time to grab that last little bit of wood? I very much doubt it, but I'll set it up and see what, what we can do. All right, let's see what happens down here. There we go. They should get through this nice and fast, especially on the highest speed. Right. Okay, so now we have the spine. Delving people may have consequences. 
And those consequences are things that I would actually quite like to see. Uh, how many hours we've got? We've got about three hours. How long would this take? It will take... Does it list it in here? It, oh, one hour just down there. But because this is a superior repel fog, they've now got 40 repel instead of 10. It is a huge effect. The overall effect is 120. The more people you have, the stronger the effect. And it does go up over time. But let's go ahead and get this ritual underway. I want to push this fog a good ways back because having it this close does start to uh, make them feel a little bit uneasy. Uh, yeah, slightly unsafe. So we want to give it a good, good pushback. They slept in an austere bedroom, though. They got a little bit of a bonus to their their con uh, conviction here. Bitter gruel, not super happy with that, but it could be a lot worse. Eight outside a dining area. How very dare you. We've got this beautiful dining area in here for you to take care of. My lord. All right, let's have a... Oh, no, it, it jumped in before you were able to get that... Uh, the uh, the trees there. I thought it might have been at midnight, but it is literally the moment it becomes uh, becomes nighttime that we lose, or rather that it advances and we lose access to that land around there. Not the best thing, but uh, certainly not the worst. Right, let's have a look at how far that is pushed back. Okay, that is kind of amazing. All right, first thing I want is we are going to select everything, like so. I'm going to want to grab... Have we got uh, none? Oh, really? Do we not have... I'm sure there are some... Oh, do they not get selected, perhaps? Uh... Oh, there we are. Foggy crystals. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of them. Okay, we'll select you. And I want them all to be mined. All seven of them. We're going to have all sorts of things coming out of this, which is I'm very happy about. However, we have revealed a crow nest. Bloody crower. They're very, very annoying little uh, creatures that like to go ahead and chomp down on your foodstuffs. So uh, taking them out is probably going to be a high priority for us. All right. Nevertheless, we have unlocked this area. Uh, most people are sleeping now, though. Let's have a quick gander. How much do they need to sleep? Uh, they kind of need it. All right. Well, I'm going to let them have a bit of a kip until the following day, and then we're going to send our A-team down into the dungeons to see what there is to see. Uh, for now, though, how many wands do we have? I should be able to see over here. We've got one air, dark, nature, and water wand. Fantastic. Truly marvelous, in fact. Uh, we could go ahead and add all the other ones as well, I suppose. Uh, a lightning wand. Let's do that until we'll also add a fire wand. Do that until... And then finally, we'll add in an earth wand. And then we'll have one of each of the wands for the sake of summoning students, which I think is going to be very, very important for us very, very soon. Now, this uh, resource panel does get a little bit full after a while, but it shouldn't be too terribly bad. Wow, we've got a lot of smoky pills out there. Using recipes to make wands and certain roof decorations, very well. Uh, I like it. But the main thing that I like to keep open is probably this. Now, we could go out and take out the crow nests. And that might be worthwhile, because we haven't actually got anything that's going to benefit from, from having crows at the moment. However, I think... I would actually like to have the crows show up at least once, so I can show them to you. I believe they spawn at night time only, though. So uh, we'll have to have a, a gander at that. Also, given our schedule... I mean, I know this is a place of, of learning, but I feel that uh, morning chores build a character. So uh, the children's are going to get up a little bit earlier and do some morning chores and uh, the staff are just going to get a little bit of an extra lion frankly look the li world isn't fair i need to teach them this right now so they're not they're not super caught off guard when when reality sets in uh let's go ahead and tuck that down a little bit as well over on that side uh that way we will make sure that uh, everyone gets food together well that being said actually they, right now we only have one one place for them to eat so I'm going to move this around a little bit so that they will eat at different times. There we go. I could, in fact, have them sleep at different times, which would allow me to make use of the, these beds much better than I currently am. Hmm. Kind of like that idea, actually. All right. Give me a few seconds. 
Okay, this should help out a little bit. Like, the, the, by phasic for the students, uh, but the uh, the teachers are just going to have to have a, a single sleep schedule. Now, I've tried to make sure that there is some time that they are awake in the night and in the day, because there are certain things that don't, can only be done in one or t'other. So it's important to have a work uh, schedule that covers both night and day. The, the students don't have very much in the day. They've mostly got it at night. But since mostly the students uh, take care of hauling and cleaning, that's fine by me, frankly. Uh, actually, I'm going to drop these down in priority uh, a little bit, and I'm going to increase beast care significantly because only the students can take care of beasts. And on that note, it's actually time for us to go ahead and place down uh, Midian Jelly, I feel. Uh, can we pop it over here? Or maybe we should pop it over on the far side. Let's pop it over on the far side. Uh, we can also put this actually in any of the rooms, strictly speaking. So uh, I guess it isn't a problem if we put it over here. Uh, or maybe even up here. But uh, I think maybe... Well, let's have just have you next to the staircase. Sure, that's not going to get in the way at all. It's going to be fine. I will right, we'll pop you down there. That's going to actually be very, very important for us. Now, looking at the schedule, I do want them to eat before we send them out to fight. So, teachers, get in there, gobble down some food. And our, our wolfkin can gobble down some dire rats. Marvus, I approve enormously. And uh, hopefully, Aquatami will get something to eat, unless Aquatami doesn't need anything to eat. Aquatami, are you full? Uh, Aquatami is actually fine. Probably ate before everyone else. Okay, fair enough. Right, well, let's, let's head out once again. We want to set up... Now, this one, we can have either st entirely students, entirely staff. It's, enti it's completely up to you. Uh, so, on that note, I might not want to bring Plumber Smack for this one, but Aquatami and Jitterbug have got the same element, so it's really those two that I'd want to switch around. Oh, well, we'll see how this goes. Now, it's very important, from what I can tell, for them to fill mana up before the battle, because you don't want them showing up to the fight already exhausted and uh, unable to use their magic. That would probably be a bad thing. Uh, right, let's see everyone pop down here. They've topped up the mana font, and now we're going to explore the dungeons. And our first actual combat. I really like the exploring the underscore. It was one of the things in Spellcaster University that I think a lot of people agreed on that they wished the dungeons in the game were more a component of the regular gameplay rather than a completely optional side quest where you just get a little bit of loot and you could only do like one or two maybe in an entire map the dungeons were such a fun way to build up your students and then send them out on uh on, well the, the potentially in ter terribly dangerous mission uh, maybe maybe saying it was a fun thing it was wrong it was a very exciting thing uh nevertheless this is the combat we're currently up against three belchers we've got a standard turn order up top if you hover over this you can find out what they're going to do and in this case it just attacks an enemy total damage 25 uh we can see our turn over over here encrypt is going to get a turn before any of the enemies do and that's really important because i want encrypt to use earth armor this is going to uh use taunt 2 and add 60 armor which is going to be very very useful now plumber's mac can actually do a fair bit of damage based on the the uh, base damage of the spell is 3, but their modified power is 10, so let's go ahead and start working through. It's typical kind of front row, back row mechanics in that we can't really get to the back row until we've gotten through the front row. Uh, now, as for you, I'm going to cast Vengeance as Retaliate 15 to allies in the targeted row. Front row, back row. Now, how this works is when attacked and made with Retaliate will damage the attacker. Or I could cast Fireball, which would do 20 damage. It's just base damage of 20 but it does have a high crit chance now this is going to use 40 of my mana but it's going to be a big part of my tactics here because next up of course we're using earth armor we could use smash total damage 35 the base damage is only 10 but power is modified by 5 however there is con a condition on this you deal 20 more damage when you're at full hp this is probably the only time that we're going to be at full hp however so but uh, we're going to go ahead and use earth armor i think this is going to be a much more useful thing for us to do there we go and we lost a little bit of health there sad to say but that's all okay. We did a good chunk of damage to the uh, Belchers over there. Now we've got Recharge, which can actually add mana and speed to a user, which is actually kind of kind of cool, I must say. Or Bolt. Uh, attacks any target. Now this is one of the interesting things about a Lightning Wand. I can attack the back row with it. 
Now, is there is it better for me to go for the back row or just to alpha down? Well, not alpha, but uh, focus down a single enemy. I would say focusing down a single enemy is the uh, tactic here because we can just remove that damage off the table at that point. Uh, we don't need to cast Vengeance again. Vengeance is still active. I don't know how long that lasts for. It might last for the entire battle, in which case that's probably one of the best spells in the game. Uh, shame we didn't get the crit. Now, I could... No, I couldn't even take you out, actually. But uh, you will almost kill yourself with uh, this retaliate there. There we go. And armor is... Oh, you attacked someone else because taunt... Did uh, taunt run out there? Maybe it did. Okay, well, that was a bit of an interesting one. Uh, at this point, though, we can just use this simple attack. Remove them from the battle and things should get a lot easier for us. Uh, Multi-strike now. The, this is a relatively easy fight. I, I'm not actually concerned at all about this one. There is no real way that we're going to lose it. But uh, it all comes down to how much health that Encrypt is going to lose. And now, also Manu. I'm a little bit uh, sad about Manu losing health. Sadly, we can't cast Earth Armor on anyone else. It is only cast on the, uh, the mage casting the spell. But there we go. Now we've got enough armor that we actually make it through an entire attack without any big problems. How are your relative uh, manners doing? Uh, you're doing okay. How much mana does that one take? Uh, sorry, fireball. It only takes 20. So we don't need to use recharge yet. We can instead, again, focus on you for now. There we go. And multi-strike as well. Now the problem that we have here is we don't actually have a medical area. So uh, any health damage that they take right now is not health damage that I can get rid of for now. Uh, later on, maybe. Uh, we are going to go ahead with Earth Armor again. It's still the strongest move that I can make since we will take no damage from that. Uh, but at this point, we are starting to get a little bit low, so I'm just going to uh, pop up your mana there. So you're actually going to get a uh, move first, which is fine. And there we go, our crit. Fantastic. What? Six viscera, 50 stone. Five smoke pills and two arcane scrolls. Chest smashes have been loosed. Events unlocked in the underscore recur in the future. Which is not great. Uh, so, <laughs> we've now got an under school chamber. So, this one. If we have a look in there, it is technically a chamber. And if we wanted to build something in here, we could. We just can't really put anything in here. It's not really built for it. So it's uh, not a useful shape. But uh, we've got two people in medical rest. Plumber Smack completed full fighter bronze trial. Let's have a look at you. In fact, you completed two. You also completed defensive duelist. And Aquatami completed rested fighter. So with Serenity, which was the uh, uh, full fighter, you are now gaining some speed, mana, and HP. And with the defensive duelist, you are gaining speed, which should bring your combat stats up really high. You're now doing 10 power and 32 speed. I can't imagine that many things are ever going to get to attack before you do, which is really interesting. Uh, if we have a look through here, yeah, pretty much you are, you are the be-all, end-all of speed. However, you still don't have the best HP. It's still only 90. It's a lot better than it was before, but you now have death saves. And Aquatami likewise has a death save, which I'm really, really, really happy about. Uh, this one, again, gave speed speed, power, and mana. Now, you need to charge a mana lantern. We can't build one yet. And you are 5 out of 10 in eating the mess hole. How about Plumber's Mac over here? You're almost finished with full learning in the Bronze Trial. This is going to be amazing because this is going to give you a wallop load of power and you're going to become quite a danger. Now, we have got the, uh, the Boneless Midian Jelly. A uh, refining beast that processes non-humanoid corpses and turns them into useful reagents. Uh, given that, then, we've got sinew, viscera, and ectoplasm. Viscera, as you've noticed, we need a lot of things, so we're going to set this up as something that we are going to always want a couple of, like 30 at least. We get four from every carcass. After that, I don't really know which one is best, but uh, I'm fairly certain that all of them are going to be useful, so we'll have sinew at 20, and ectoplasm uh, we will also have, I don't know, we'll, just, uh, we'll pop that at 20 as well. There we are, so you'll always have some work to do. Very, very... Uh, grumpy face there but now you just look like you've got tired face and honestly mood uh however we do need to make sure that our uh peeps get some healing now how do we get the healing cots 
Uh, critical care. We can actually research this. I, I completely missed that that was available to us. Okay, let's set up critical care to be researched, and hopefully we can get that nice and quickly. And until we have that, I am not going to have anyone doing any more uh, jumping down here. Though, uh, that being said, we did unlock two... Uh, we need one more to be able to uh, unlock any of the uh, currently gated behind Arcane Scrolls. Arcane Scrolls are gotten from combat. That's pretty much the only place you get them. As far as I'm away, maybe you can research them as well. Uh, so yeah, get them in, in loot and such. But eventually you can make the Scrivener, I believe, if I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, where would the Scrivener be? The Scrivener over here. You can make the various scrolls, so Adept scrolls, Arcane scrolls, and even Savant scrolls, but that's going to take us quite some time, I think. Uh, for now, we are going to focus on... Let's have a let's have a decide of where we're going to be going with this. We could, I suppose, go for some better cooking. That would definitely help, since it would allow us to lift people's spirits a little bit more. We could instead go for a little support, so that we could build out our rooms a bit more, which actually might be a really strong option for us. It would also give us the option to grow some more things. You can grow things indoors, by the way, which I, I find very interesting. Uh, another one we could go for is rustic furnishings, get some better windows. We could also get the higher tier ones, which is going to be very important to us after a while. Actually, getting down to the bookshelves would allow us to improve our classroom, so that might be one of the big uh, first pushes for us. And then after that, go for the supports, I think. For now, I believe that would be uh, a good route. Of course, we could also go for the creepiest quilting and actually unlock the quilted who do jobs for us which is very very much appreciated but i don't know if we really need to go for that one just yet uh there you are you've completed your final trial at this point we could graduate you or hire you as the case may be uh what wand did you have you do have an air wand which is for assemble someone very helpfully pointed out that while you might assume that building furniture is based on construct uh, apparently it is based on assemble it's just the structure which is based on uh, constructs of walls and floors and roofs but uh yeah it says here create and move furniture so maybe having an air mage as uh, our first hire might not be a bad bad move overall uh let's have a look wood and stone are both a little bit low so let's go ahead and set up some chopping and some mining to be done please in fact oh actually let's not grab the uh let's not grab the iron just yet that one would take a long time for them to get through i feel uh wait a second what's going on a chest smasher is in ah you're going around bashing all my chest you scoundrel all right, let's get into this battle. I should have been uh, more on the ball with that one, but okay. I was too busy looking at other things. Oh, I told them all to go and recharge their wands. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, all right, hurry up. Before they d completely destroy all of my chests, the durability is going down rather fast, which I'm not at all happy about. However, this is going to be an opportunity for us to see what the fully upgraded Plumber Smack is capable of. All right, everyone, let's get into this fight then. Bloody chest smashes. Uh, right, they're not going to do t uh, 20 damage, just going to attack uh, an enemy and then change twice. Oh, that's not very good, but 23 twice. That is huge amounts of damage. And again, yes, you move first, which is glorious. Let's drop Vengeance down. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stop this before it chains. That was unfortunate. Ugh, okay. Uh, now, Earth Armor isn't actually going to be that useful to me here, because uh, I'm not going to be able to direct all of the attacks to me. It, the attack will change, so we're not going to go for the armor strategy here. Instead, we're just going to kill you with a lightning strike. There we go. Nice and done. And we got some more arcane scrolls. Oh, fantastic. Happy days. That actually worked out for us in the end. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Wonderful. Best job ever. Why the staff can't do it, I don't know. I'm so sorry, staff. Uh, nevertheless, we've now unlocked our options, and I think we're going to continue with our initial plan. So we're going to spend four of our arcane scrolls to unlock rustic furnishings. This will also be very useful for setting up a dormitory, and then getting down to classroom essentials. So let's go ahead and chain up both of those. This is going to keep our, uh, our teachers rather busy, I would say. But the main thing is we now have the medical bed, and I'm thinking getting these set up over here, while it isn't the best place, certainly it is a place, and so uh, it's what we're going to do. 
Uh, I would like to have some more of them up here, maybe. <laughs> I guess those are just going to have to be where they are for now. Uh, we can... Ooh, thinking about it, we could possibly just make a room for this. That's about three tiles, so four tiles. I could maybe make a medical ward. Mm, I would like this to be more for another dormitory, though, if I can possibly make that happen. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, let's go ahead and get some more students. So let's summon a new student. We've only got... Well, actually, we've got all of these ones. So we could go for a nature or a water wand. I would like a nature wand if we could get them on the go. Water wands are okay, uh, but it, it isn't as important in my opinion whereas nature i think is a very very important one so let's go ahead and summon a new student and the requirements for su summoning students are going to continue to increase over time as we go so that's definitely something that we're going to need to get on top of relatively soon uh, at this point we don't actually need to set up the uh, the dormitory over here but if we did once we've got the windows unlocked, I believe we can go for a pro uh, sorry a dormitory, a proper dormitory, which gives plus five conviction to student sleepers. Whereas the austere bedroom could then be used exclusively for our teachers, because uh, they're not students, they wouldn't get any benefit from dormitory. So we would need three or more plain beds, fancy beds, or canopy beds, and one or more window. It would also need to be private. All right. Well, let's see how big of a room that we could build out on this side, shall we? Uh, if we were to start it here, I think we would need about four. That would work. And then, was there any other requirements for it? Did it need to be wonky or anything like that? Um, just private. All right, well, we can definitely get this room ready. Let's build this up. Something around here would do. And then add another roof connection so about here across i'll actually go uh, you know what let's remove this cancel that one and we'll build the roof from the the top there let's go in like so but we want the wonk to be on this side there we are perfect little little v there just so all the rain can gather over here and then just eventually reach some sort of tipping point and sploosh straight down I think that's going to be marvellous. Uh, we are going to want a doorway going through here, or at the very least, a, uh, a uh, hallway, which I think should be fine for the most part. Uh, right. How's everything going? What? Oh, we have, in fact, got a student. Hello, Cassie. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention when you were when you were brought in. Okay, let's have a look at your wand. You've got some earth, which is nice, and some lightning as well. So you'll be able to help out building uh, building furniture and the likes. So let's have a look at your uh, traits and medallions, though. You've got dancing queen. Dance thirty times. This will give you swift hearts so of five speed and twenty five max HP. That's actually pretty big. Uh, then overcome the burrowa lava. Uh, this will get you cannot become wet. Hmm. Uh, we've also got uh, the um, charger. You need to uh, recharge some mana lanterns. That'll give you speed and mana. Again, nothing with the uh, mana caps, which is a little bit of a little bit of a shame, I must say. But okay, we'll see what we can do then. Uh, for now, though, let's make sure that. Well, how much would it need to get another student? Uh, two staff at this point. One wand of any type. Well, maybe we should just go in. Uh, I'm going to have Jitterbug, you can come down from your research. And I would like to get a Water Wand. Let's get them on the go. Because this one's actually going to be nice. The Air Wands are good at hauling, and the Water Wands are good at cleaning. And those are things that students can do. So our students will be able to get a little bit of extra work in there as well, which would actually be very, very much appreciated. Now, the real big question is... Ah, 50% shaded. Okay, so they're not going to grow as effectively then. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, all right, well, I I guess uh, it was good to for science it. I'm glad I did. But we are going to need to move things around then a little bit. Uh, we could set things up over on this side, or I could just push the, the planters, the very least, can be moved, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Can I actually? No, no, I can't. Hmm, all right, then, well, I guess we're not doing that then. Um, maybe I can just have all of that brought forward a bit. But is it really that bad that they are going to take a little bit longer to grow? Uh, I'm not entirely 
certain that it will be that bad, so uh, maybe we'll just leave it as is. But let's see. We've also got uh, Demeter uh, Demeteria. Dem Demetria. Why Why did I find that so hard to read? Uh, let's have a look at your spells. Uh, you've got two in lightning, two in nature, which is nice. And uh, then we've got... Because nature covers harvesting, tens, chops, and wands. Now, as for you, defeat three one skull or higher enemy parties. You'll gain five speed and five power. We've got a lot of wolfkin in this uh, in this institution. It must be said. Uh, we've also got cast while rested. That should be an easy one. Five power and twenty five max mana. And finally, dancing machine. Go two days without ever getting craving recreation. Okay, and you would get two speed, two power, ten mana. Well, getting that one's going to be a little bit tricky because we don't have anything set up for allowing that, but uh, we'll see what we can do, I suppose. Uh, nevertheless, we are going to want to set this up as a dormitory and keeping this one as is. I think what I would like to do is expand this out into a better uh, healing area. So let's bring this wall up a bit. Uh, at least the same height about there. We are then going to... Uh, remove, demolish these roofs right up to the peak. I could demolish the entire roof. One of the nice things about this game is you get everything back when you replace things, which, honestly, I think is a, is a, is a massive must in these sorts of games, where it gives you so much of an opportunity to be creative and just make interesting-looking uh, areas that why wouldn't you then want to like build and rebuild things? Right, we're going to have four beds... They're just going to have climbing at the bottom. Look, okay, it's a dormitory. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. I'm trying to do my best with very limited space, damn it. Uh, how far are we away from getting the research done on that? We're about halfway, so that shouldn't be too long. And we've still got quite a ways on the fog. I should imagine. You're in a bit of pain, unfortunately. Feeling slightly unsafe. Really? Still? Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, maybe we're going to need to push that back even further then. Uh, but we have got one medical bed, and uh, someone is already using it, which I'm quite quite grateful for. Uh, we <laughs> desperately need these to be repaired, frankly, but our person who does the repairing is sleeping instead. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess that's only fair. Uh, in fact, I'm... Well... Aid. The default priority of jobs. Let's have a look at this one. Remove dangerous statuses from characters and administer potions. I'm going to make that one a reasonable priority for you as well. But medical rest... Yeah, it's the it's the first thing you're going to do if you don't have a priority job. Uh, which I think uh, should be okay. That will take a little bit of time for us to get on the go, though. Uh, let's have a look. We are going to want to hit out uh, another area. From what I understand... The kind of layout is both procedural and not. The the layout itself of the of the underscore, from what I've been reading on the Steam forums, is a, a a guaranteed kind of shape, but the contents of those areas is different. For example, this is the fungal cavern, but it might have been something else. Uh, maybe it would have been the lava mine. I, I'm I'm not really certain about it myself, but uh, that seems to be what was uh, implied in what I read. So that's going to be quite an interesting one. So. Uh, different playthroughs might have a different uh, setup of things around there, which would actually be quite fun. Right, okay, let's get this area finished off so that we can finally... <laughs> I love how the, the wolfkin is just... Oh, I'll just sleep on the floor, it's fine. Uh, let's get this roof built up. We want it from there all the way across. There we go. And nice, tall roof, just to because I can. And once that's done, these lamps will be... Look, it's a magic skull. This is the best time for something to be just hovering in, in midair. This is the most acceptable it will ever be. Now, once this is done, we are definitely going to want more of these set up. And we're going to want one over there and then one just beside as well. Uh, can I not place this down? Oh, I need the resource. I need more iron. Okay, fair enough. I haven't really been uh, gathering that. In fact, I told them not to, so that's probably on me. Uh, a rainfalls. Rather unfortunate. Uh, could you please go and hunt? Now, have we got any crow yet? Uh, no, we don't have any crow yet. None have shown up at the very least. <laughs> Aw, I can't imagine this is fun for you. I really can't imagine that's super fun for you. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get this uh, roof finished. 
There we are, almost done. And pop. A room. Now, what's the lighting in this room? It's uh, actually awful. It's only 30% lit. I could fix this with a window, I suppose. Uh, sure, let's pop. But let's have the window nice and high. Pop the window up there. We're also going to want a window in here. Uh, I believe a dormitory just needed one window. Let me just double check. Dormitory requires... Yeah, three or more plain beds and one or more windows. This will be a big help for our students. So uh, hopefully we can get that on the go relatively quickly. And uh, people can continue bringing things in. Now, where are we with regards to our refining? Okay, we are doing well on the viscera, actually. Not too bad at all, all things said and done. As soon as we've got the iron, then we'll be able to get all of that going. And just little by little, we're starting to bring things together. Let's have a look at the priorities on our students. Let's make sure that you are, in fact, going to be hauling and also taking care of our animals. But the last thing we're going to do, you didn't think I'd forgotten, did you? No, no, no. We need to find out the true names of our two new students. Please say hello to Hi Kaiser and Phoenix Talia. Thank you ever so much for your patron support and welcome to the school. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun here and a very, very minor amount of getting, you know, attacked by monsters in the dungeon that I'm totally sending you to. Uh, but uh, look, it, it, again, it builds character. Aquatami, though, is fully trained. Now, there's one last thing with this, and that is learning. So purposeful, gained skill or medallions very recently. So they've got conviction because they have learnt, and learning is its own reward. But if they go too long without any change, so if we, uh, for example, didn't have further medallions for them to learn, this would be a problem. Because eventually, that's going to be a massive conviction penalty. They'll, they'll get a purposeless uh, conviction penalty. And we really, really very much want to avoid that one. Bloody crower in here eating my foods. Okay, hunt you straight away. Uh, are there any other crowers? Uh, there are, in fact, two crows. But you can't get to any food, so you know what? You get a, a pass. Now, the thing with crowers is they are actually a little bit tricky. In that uh, a crower can... May, right now it's just annoying, it's eating my plants There are a couple of things that I can do to prevent that By putting walls and such, they can't get through doors for example Or bringing my plants that can be planted inside, inside If you have enough rooms, uh, enough uh, windows, that will actually work for that And it'll all be fine However, the thing with uh, the crow is If you just leave their body on the ground They turn into spectral crower And they are fantastically more of a problem than a basic crower is. So let's uh, let's just take you out and hopefully that, that's going to be enough. Now, one of the reasons why this hasn't switched over into a, a bedroom is because this is a cot and private quarters require a fancy bed or canopy bed. Uh, exactly one fancy bed or a canopy bed. I believe we have unlocked fancy bed. Oh, no, we've unlocked plain beds. Uh, oh, sorry, I was looking at the private quarters. I wanted dormitory. It's plain beds, fancy beds, or canopy beds for this one, and one or more windows. So we could set that up in here, uh, but for now, I'm just going to, to leave this one because I want to just showcase something. So first and foremost, I want all students in here and all staff in here. Now, because I've got stairs leading up specifically into the staff bedroom, that makes it a little bit more complicated. I've had to go in and change it so all students in, isn't on there, and it's only staff. Now, it was very easy. I could click on copy settings, then draw it across all of the carts, and then just paste settings. Very, very nice and easy. But there is another way of doing that, and that is to add in a door. Now, if we pop in a door, I can give the door access privileges. So only students will be able to get through this door. And you can use that for any type of group you've created. You could make sleeping quarters for the Vivified, for example, and just make the door only allow them through. Or for by that same token, you could just make it so that uh, this, uh, the beds would only allow the Vivified through, and so on and so forth. But uh, they're just two different ways of sorting this out. Now, I'm not sure if this is necessarily the best way of doing it. Uh, it should prevent certain... Uh, malign entities from wandering where they're not meant to be, but I'm going to turn off all staff. The quilted can come in here though and, and clean up if they need to. However, 
I do worry that if something bad does happen in here, the staff won't be able to get in and sort it out, which is probably a bit of a problem, really, when we think about it. So we're going to have to uh, have a uh, have a watch and see how this works. But I think that's more or less where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really do hope you have enjoyed. Again, I am not actually going to be at home by the time you watch this, so it may take me a little longer than usual to get to those comments. But I will be watching uh, the comments section wherever I can and answering as and when the opportunity presents itself. But that is going to be it from me and of course from the refuge of the painful tide. So once again we are going to say goodbye to Heather, Manu, Encrypt, Jitterbug, Aquatami, Plumber Smack, Hi Kaiser and the Phoenix Talia for today. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, do take care everyone.